This hand, right, right under his butt cheek. That, that arm stays right below his butt cheek, right here. Why I like to do that. If I'm in on a single leg, whether it's on my knees or on my feet, and I'm below, way down here, see how I can take that leg back and I, my head starts to go down? Take your leg back. See where my head goes? Kind of want that to happen. So if I'm way up by his butt cheek, right? Sprawl back. Sprawl that leg back. My head stays up, doesn't it? Let that leg go. I'm up and into his butt. Here, sprawl back. It's pretty easy to stand up, wasn't it? Do it this way. That's not good technique, right? So make sure when we're stepping here, my hand stays high on his butt cheek. So even if he tries to take his leg back, that's fine. I just run to it. Catch it. All right, staying into him that whole time. Staying into him that whole, whole time. Again, my shoulder goes to my heel. I don't straighten this thing, right? It's not your traditional dump where I'm going this direction, right? It's just down. It's him carrying our weight. I'm breaking this leg by him carrying our weight. Here. Down, squat him. Throw your head. Not it. Last point, TJ said it. Don't, I don't have to, if I squeeze my legs together and I try and dump, look, this leg's not gonna swing out. Step off this side. He moves away, I'm pretty much in the stance. Right? Is this a good stance? You're gonna get double legged the rest of your life if you stand like this. When you're 70, you're still gonna get double legged. Right? You need a good stance. Here. Throw my head, throw my shoulder. Got it? Let's clean it up. One, two.